here with Nickel State head volleyball coach Patrick Hiltz and Coach Hiltz. Another tough win, another hard-fought win. Girls play their hearts out again tonight. Just tell us your overall thoughts on the uh, match itself and just what you saw out there against McNeese. No, you're right. I mean, hard-fought is probably the best way to describe it. Uh, I knew McNeese was going to come in here and, and fight give us a whole bunch of energy. They, they lost on Thursday, and I knew they didn't want to come out with an 0-2 record, so I knew that they were going to be giving us a battle. I told the girls we had to be ready, and for the most part, we answered the bell. Uh, took a lot of punches back and forth. It, it really was hard fought. It, it's probably the best way to describe it. I'm really pleased. Coach, you got double-digit kills out of your two seniors. You got a lot of strong play from your bench, a lot of players stepping up. Just um, tell us a little bit about Obviously, you set a milestone today with uh, Jennifer Brand with her 1,000th kill. Uh, just what is the testament to perseverance and just, you know, sticking things out, you know, with a lot of uncertainty sometimes around, but hopefully at the end of the day, making it a, uh, a positive senior season? Well, yeah, I mean, that's our, our seniors have started to step up. I challenged them a couple of weeks ago to, to be leaders with this, not only with the team, but on the court and off the court, and they're starting to respond. Um, Brandt. You know, congratulations to her. A thousand kills. Not too many people get an opportunity to say they're part of the thousand kill club, and not too many people here at Nichols have done it. So my my hat off to her. This just shows her consistency for four years. Definitely being a go-to player, she still is for us. And you know, I keep telling them when when one or two of those other players step up around her, we're going to be very tough to beat. And that's what we got today. You know, we got it Thursday from Sarah stepping up, and we got it tonight from Jessica. Jasmine's been very consistent, and but. You know, I'm getting that consistent play from the seniors. They're not panicking. They understand. We've been through this before. We know what's going to happen. And so we don't get a big emotional roller coaster. We're able to maintain our composure and, and see everything through to the win. And, Coach, I know it's still early. You're two games in, but you're 2-0. and It's a very solid start going in a very tough weekend next week. Just what are you going to be able to do this week in practice to try to keep the team focused knowing that this is one of the first long road trips of the year? How do you stay focused and go in uh, next week against Central Arkansas and Oral Roberts and hopefully to get a split, if not more, if you're lucky? Hey, I mean, that's just, if we're not focused, it's going to be a very quick road trip. Uh, Oral Roberts is very good. Central Arkansas is very good. We Both of them are picked one, two in the conference. And I think the fact that they came out and got losses on Thursday just shows how balanced the conference is from top to bottom. Can't take any games lightly. So we're going to have to find uh, weaknesses in our game, shore those up a little bit, figure out what Oral Roberts and Central Arkansas are going to try and do, see if we can find something we can exploit, and, and just keep working hard and, and doing the things that we do. But uh, – we held home court. That was the first job. And, and now we go on the road with opportunity to steal one. Let's see what we can do.